Hi there. Um, so I figured I'd do a, a quick video tutorial for you today. Um, before I tell you, or I'll just say that this is going to be a fast, fast forward tutorial, but not in ways that you're thinking. So I'm going to give you a brief overview of the kind of effect we're going to get right now. Okay, so that's what we're going to do, and here's the project. All I've really done is just imported the stuff I wanted and linked up some better audio than my natural audio. But our, we're primarily just going to be focusing on this section right here. Um, just give me one sec. Let me make sure I don't screw up my place. Um, okay, yeah, it's right where I want to be. So in this one, I'm creating a time lapse from video that was used in real time. And so I'm just going to put a split right there, but if you don't want um, any of the real-time video to play, you can do just a, um, a a basic streamline thing, and that's S to split, just in case you don't know. I'm going to delete this audio down here, hit U on the track, and then hit delete, um, then select this. All right. So it's this section of video from here to here that I'm going to be um, time-lapsing. And so the basic way you do a fast forward with video tracks is you get the marker right onto the edge of the clip like there until that changes icons. Then you hold control and you'll notice the little squiggly line that has come up and says uh, time stretch. So you're going to hold control, you're going to click it, and then you're going to drag it in. Or if you're doing slow motion, you drag it out, but we're fast forwarding, so you're going to drag it in as far as it will go. All right? And then if you have, like I'm doing, you want real-time stuff, you put it at the back like there, all right? Now this is a really useful technique if you're doing stuff like time lapses or say you're doing a speed painting or a speed drawing and you just have a lot of footage. And it doesn't have to be, you know, camera footage. You can do this with um, what I'm doing right now with a screen capture if you're doing a Photoshop paint. So there are a lot of uses for it. I'm doing a Lego speed build right here. So there's, there's a ton of applications for this. All right, so where I have my two things, I'm going to put a mark and put start, and it's M to do a mark, though you, it's not entirely necessary. It just saves you a little bit of time later on. And do another mark and put end. And that gets me um, my start and my end, but this is still way longer than I want it to be. Uh, this is like four minutes of, of the speed build, and that's still just too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the project as... Uh, Lego. Part one. Uh, I'll put P one there for you. So Lego, what or just whatever you want to call it, your project. Part one. Then you hit save. And then you're gonna hit uh, this little one, which this little icon, which creates a new project. And all you, as long as you saved your stuff, you're fine. You better have saved your stuff because otherwise this technique won't work. So I'm going to go into my videos and I'm going to find the project file. Lego Xenomorph Speed Build P1. And I'm going to drop the project file itself. None of the project files, just the uh, file that I, if I were to click on it, it would open the project into Sony Vegas. And what it's going to do is it's going to render out the video. This only takes a minute, so it's it's pretty uh, useful little tech, technique here. And since this video that I used is a bit shorter, you're not going to need it as much as you would for things that are longer. I've done Lego speed builds that are like, you know, three or four 20-minute uh, clips that had to be condensed down. But... So then you take the project you just dropped from your media section there and you drop it down here in your timeline just like you would any other clip. Um, and then you wait for it to build the, the peaks. But you can just click where your little start icon is here and hit split. And your end icon is and hit split S again. And now 
we can fast forward this section and drag this over. And if you're just doing a whole thing, you could just drop the project in. You don't have to worry about splitting it. You can just condense it down more. So now this section of video is 34, is a little over a minute long. Um, and if I wanted to, I could keep doing this. That's actually shorter than I want it to be. I want it to be about two minutes in length. So if I wanted to, I could condense it down even further again, but obviously I don't want to do that. Um, but honestly, if I wanted to, I'd just go mark one and put end again and go to the other split, mark one and put start again. I'd save the project as the exact same title as I did for the last one, but instead of P1, I'd put P2. And then you open another version of Vegas and you drop it. And you just keep doing that until your timeline section is as far down as you want it to be. Um, for me, I'm done in just two steps. But this is, like I said, a very useful, very versatile technique that I highly recommend to anyone who's using Vegas. I don't know if it works in other programs. It's worth a shot, though. It's fairly easy to do. Um, best of luck. Hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial. I'll catch you some other time. Bye.